Good afternoon, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. I'm just doing this quick video on this um, beautiful Inglenet fireplace. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous, all original, absolutely stunning. Um, the reason why I'm doing this, obviously, uh, uh, a great tip for people that should be aware. If you've got an Inglenet and you've got that sort of this type of grate in your in your Inglenet, uh, my advice to you is to fill it up with ash underneath never empty the ash out underneath if, as you can see at the moment there's only a little bit of ash underneath there fill it right up so it's actually over spilling on the on the top of the grate along here um, and the reason being is you don't want any air going underneath it is the same principle of um, with open fires or wood burners or anything like that um, you don't want any any air going underneath it because what will happen i mean this goes up into a herd and then it goes into it like a uh, a stainless steel flue that goes all the way up to the top with a cover over the top it's in great condition they're obviously burning fantastic uh, wood that's not water damage that's come down there that's uh, it's an old rusty mark that's been there for many years but they're basically that with these uh, if you want to get the maximum heat efficiency out of these appliances you really want to keep the ash in so so don't ever empty the ash out I mean, it would take you a long time to fill them up um, so what I would what I always do with these is just, just scoop the ash out from the top from the top grate up the top here bit, when I say the top on about this bit here just scoop it off up there um, and you can compress it in at the, at, at the, at the sides press it in like that so it's all flat and everything um, you can get trays made up of the blacks, uh, blacksmiths, but um, I, I don't see the point in that because you'd be surprised with wood ash how compressed it will go and how solid it will go, and after a while it'll be just like a bit of, just like a brick really. And um, but you want to leave the ash in underneath it. It makes such a difference. Where the, where they've got that they they've got a nice log basket at the side here. Um, basically. Um, which is right right amount in there um so what you want to be doing is um you know that you probably find if you have a nice thick ash bed in this appliance you will be probably going through three or four in an hour so that's what i would do just a nice little tip there for you uh, to help you uh, with your inguinal fire have a lovely day from zachary Street.